This video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon, and a special thank you to Logan Shepherd Scally for donating £10. Good morning everybody, and welcome to Trolley Problems Incorporated. Now, this game is meant to test your morals, but here's the thing, I'm a pretty strict utilitarian, um, and the least amount of death is the good death, is like the good thing. Uh, so this is gonna be like really easy. I watched many a true nerd play this, and he was like, oh no, it's really challenging my morals, and I'm just gonna be like, oh, fucking kill the guy. <laughs> Let's go. The following game contains adult themes. It does not contain explicit language, sexual you gotta turn content, it up a little bit. horror, or show violence. Choices matter, so please take your time. Player discretion is still advised. Please sign your name below, showing you understand and agree to endorse every decision you make. <laughs> I like that little uh, bit of small print down there. Okay. O. T. O. With a big space. I'm actually caught. O. There's a bit of screen tearing. I'm not quite Actions sure why. Speak louder than words. It's really annoying me. Welcome to Trolley Problem Inc. Founded to help people travel safely across the nation. All our employees must show three core values. Responsibility, integrity, and respect. With that in mind, let's start your training. There's a runaway trolley barreling on okay. the railway tracks. This is the on classic the trolley problem. Five, five versus one. To move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this I'm lever, pulling the fucking the lever to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there Why is would I not? On the other track. What do you do? Why w kill one save five? That's easy as shit. Oh. Uh, you're going to kill someone. Yes. This isn't how I thought I was going to start. Now you today. you could very easily make the argument that, that by intervening you're killing that person and, and if you hadn't have pulled the lever then it wouldn't have been your fault the five people died, but if I've got a chance to save more lives, I'm gonna take it. Like, I've still saved- I've, I've got a net profit of four. I don't care. Usually we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. Just think a little more before acting next time. No, I don't need to. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This test will focus on the first principle, responsibility. Okay. Here's Polly. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams of looking after the world. Polly's destiny is to grow I don't up. care. Okay. I'm going to kill her. Is heading towards another five people. You're next. I know this lever. one. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down pull a hill lever. heading for the park's sand pit. You know and here's my reasoning on this, okay? One, it's a kid, I'm gonna kill a kid every time. <laughs> Two, hypothetically she becomes a doctor, but these... Kids this much? Yes! Um, but the other five people, m we don't know anything about those, bye -bye, so I don't Polly. know. Yeah, bye-bye, Polly, go put the fucking kettle on. Um, <laughs> like, you know, there, there's no real argument for killing five people to save a fucking snotty-nosed little kid to me. I killed a child. Yeah! Thanks, dude! Any day of the it's week. It's an odd take on being responsible. The dictionary definition, to be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for the death of a young girl? Maybe. Possibly. But you know what? It doesn't matter because five people are still alive. The end justifies the means. Machiavelli. Yes. The key to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. Hi, dude. He's a 30 year old secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge watching crime shows. Tyrone is a very large man. You don't really know anything else about him apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. That sounds like a him problem. Because I know what and comes now next. We are upping the ante. 
You are on a bridge with Tyrone, watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. Okay, you I keep getting in this position. By deliberately I'm the problem Tyrone here. Off the bridge, blocking its path. I'm gonna push the fat guy. Because I'm the fat, I'm also a fat person. I'm going, like, if I had the option, I'd just jump in front of the train, because I'm quite a large person myself. You know full well he's terrified of trains. Yes, it saves five people. Different to allowing someone to die as collateral damage. Not necessarily. I'd shoot Hitler. That's all I'm saying. The cleaning company with the best reviews are Happy Cleaning Limited. Who knew one body could make so much mess? You're going to have to tip them well. And this is where people get squeamish because it's actually murder, technically. It's pushing someone in front of the train. It it's manslaughter at best, murder at worst. But again, I don't care. Okay? I saved, I have saved more people than I've killed. At that point, the ends do indeed justify the means. A cat has nine lives. Incorrect. Now for the final core value, respect. It seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing. I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. Okay. There is a dying dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog? Yes. Put it out of its misery? I'm going to put it out of its misery because it's... Is, and alone. It's very clear that it's saying that it's a dying dog that is suffering. I'm going to kill that dog. How are you going to do it? I don't know yet. Maybe a snap of the neck. But it doesn't matter. Like, the dog is suffering. I'm going Someone to give it the easiest way out. Yes, and that's not my fault. The dog is dying anyway. I can't do anything about the dog's death. If I had the choice, I'd take it to a fucking vet. When you respect something, you're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Instead, you just killed it. Redgraves chose to save the dog. That wasn't a choice I could have. If I could have had that choice, I would have made it. I agree with 46% of people. What fucking monsters are the other 54? Oh, I'll just leave it to fucking suffer until it dies. No, no, no. I'm giving it a quick way. Fuck you. If you play with fire, you'll get burned. Once again, not necessarily. Oh, great. I've just heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. With all the training from this week, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Just remember, respect, responsibility, and integrity. Okay. Five trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley line, even oh my though signs warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die, or sacrifice the delinquents? Every time. It's one person to save five. Sneaking around and breaking and entering or whatever you want to call it is not a cause to death yes of course i would of course i would like i'm not gonna purposely got my way to hit someone i hate all my co-workers that's a joke um but no like it's one to save five what the fuck of course i'm going to save the five this is not a hard choice Alright then, I guess your results for the first week are in. I'll run these up the flagpole and see what the suit's upstairs. Wow, I, I disagree with these guys apparently. They would kill the criminals. You're a moral game developers. Why would you kill the criminals? Oh my god, it's one for five! It's one for five! Oh my god. Oh, another letter. Dear sir or madam, we have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem, Inc., and would like to thank you for your hard work. 
especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. We would like to invite you to take employment at the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. This is a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public safe through all walks of life. I'll take it. The best laid plans go astray. It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. THC is stoic, focusing more on justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. Let's go! I don't care. Today, you'll be in A and E. A young male has come in from a car accident and urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital. Young man. This heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. Young man. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? You've lived a long life. You haven't had chance to yet. Sounds like his car may have caused the accident. Don't care. Doesn't mean he should die. Ow. Doesn't mean he should die. In, the young male has alcohol in his blood. Again. Is he driving? It's not a de Drinking and driving is unequivocally dangerous, but it does not equal a death sentence. Okay, he may have hurt someone else, but at the end of the day, he doesn't deserve to die for that. You made an excellent choice. Well done. The elderly man deserved that heart much more... Oh. Oh, wait. Did you save the young guy? That one was oh. polarizing. You can't win them all. This is true. Someone has to lose. You're late. The hospital is rammed. Every staff member has their hands full. So you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Remember, temperance. Restrain yourself and think it through. Okay. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. Euthanize. What do you do? Every day of the week. I think euthanasia should be legal. If someone wants to die and they are suffering and they have no way out of that situation. Did you know 90% of suicide survivors regret attempting no it. Sounds pretty similar. Okay, no, I I regret attempting it too, uh Red Redgraves. This could be a sting operation. Red Redgraves, I survived it. And I regret trying it, but euthanasia, due to a lifelong painful condition, is not the same as suicide. Oh, wow. You actually did it. I thought you would have learned not to kill people by That now. pisses me off, because that is, like, a complete false equivalence. That is not the same thing. This is, like, this This game does kind of encapsulate my main problem, my main issue with the trolley problem in general and any variant upon it, is the idea that just crushing these nuanced discussions into, uh, black and white, there's only two choices. The, the discu discussions about all of these topics so far are much more nuanced. Like, kill one, save five is a pretty easy fucking thing. But what if it's your friend? Kill the friend, save five. Who the fuck disagrees? But, like, push a guy in front of it to save five people? Fucking go for it. But, like, when it comes to the whole, like, when you're trying to apply that to things like hospitals and stuff like that, it doesn't really fucking work. Because, especially the dead dog one is a pretty good example. It's not exactly a one-to-one -one comparison. Like, I don't have to choose one or the other. I can just take the dog to the fucking nearest vet. I can save the dog. I can move the dog. I don't care if I get hurt doing it. I'm going to save the dog. Or at least give it the least miserable way of leaving the world. With euthanization, it's not the same as... It's not choosing whether someone lives or dies. It is literally choosing whether someone suffers until they finally fucking fade. Or giving them a quick way out. I think there's a pretty fucking clear moral choice. And what's with all the screen tearing as well? I don't get it. Thank you for the needle. A used syringe! Woohoo! Be slow in choosing, 
but slower in changing. No, I think people should be fairly quick the to last change. Few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. You have a choice to make which some people would see as a good problem to have. It's just going to take courage. Okay. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveller comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist and use their organs to save the five in desperate need? Yes. That's one life for five. I mean, that's like... We could ask him. We're getting dark now. We could ask him, you know. There's a good chance he might say yes, but... I'll harvest I mean, the organs any day of the week. Have to kill the innocent traveler. I don't mind killing the innocent traveler. Like, I'm saving five lives. This is straight up murder, but I don't care anymore. Like, oh, God. <laughs> another day, another death on your hands. You probably should have looked into his background. Looks like he was researching into improving vaccines. Yeah. Hopefully that won't be an issue down the road. That's another issue I have with the trolley problem is it gives us no actual information about the people. And you could argue that real life situations in this kind of way don't give us enough background. But like, if that had have been given, if that information had been given to me, I would have, I actually probably would have still harvested his organs because he was researching it. Okay. And he, what he's done so far lives on. Someone else can pick that up. He's not the only fucking microbiologist or whatever in the fucking... Or a virologist in the world, is he? Oh, I've gotten another thing. Hey, I got his heart. Organs, that's a heart. There's one. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. You have been promoted yet again. Yay! You now run the hospital. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. Lovely. Let's go. Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggest the vaccine will make one in children severely ill, much worse than the virus itself. I don't care. Vaccine, good. No, in all seriousness, I'd actually prefer Each to do week, a system. You will cause 1,000 children to be severely ill. Okay. And? How did you answer the trolley one again? Exactly like this. I'm sacrificing one to illness to save four at this point. That's still a net profit. Oh boy, you have angered those parents. A lot of messages <laughs> coming in from a woman called Karen. Not sure if it's all the same person. Uh, a thousand severely ill children. Ah, eh, that's fine. I agree with Red Graves and a lot. Wow, a lot of anti vaxxers um, fucking play this game, apparently. Beggars can't be choosers. Yes, they can. They very much can. Your hospital is getting noticed. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. They will affect a lot of people. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. The people need you to be stoic. Okay. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today. And I'm going to start the research because, again, it is literally for the greater good. The research or continue treating patients as usual? Oh, it's spooky. At least some get to eat sweets before, you know... It's for the greater good, I will say. Also, oh no, the little girl's face popped up. Fucking spooky. How much do these candies and eggheads even cost? I don't know, okay. All I know is that it, improving life takes sacrifice. Developing new medicines is a smart move. Let's just let others treat the patients. 
Hopefully they will. I don't care. I don't care if they do or don't. It's not my responsibility. Okay, I run a hospital. <laughs> it is kind of my responsibility. Shit. Another letter. Dear insert underscore name. Hey, it's code. Congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our artificial intelligence division. In this role, you will help to develop the next generation of driverless cars. The future is upon us. And that's where I'll leave this video because I don't want to spoil anything past here. Um, because this is actually, a, a, I guess, a story of some sort based on what I've seen. So I don't really, and also everyone gets the same ish, uh, the same problem. So I don't want to spoil past that second act. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to support the developers of this game, read uh, the, the game will be linked in the description for you to go ahead and buy. It's about, I think, about £15, which is about $15 at this point because of the price of the pound. The, 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 the value of the pound, even. Um, if you want to support me, you can um, donate to me on Patreon. If you donate £10, you get your name read out at the beginning. £5, you get your name put at the end. And just a pound, you get the extra videos, you get the podcast, whenever we get around to making that. And uh, early access to videos. If you wish to get involved with the community, you can join our Discord server. That is linked in the description. You can also join, uh, follow my Twitter. Now, both the Discord server and the Twitter give you video updates. The big difference being... The Twitter is if you want to get more involved with me, and the Discord server is if you want to get more involved with the community. Uh, chat to other fans, chat to my staff, like our lovely Lego Maniac, um, and, you know, just have a great time. But no matter what you decide to do with all of that information, I have been Koto, this has been Trolley Problem Incorporated, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye.